I had a question recently about what I like and dislike about living in Thailand. And it was a challenge, it's a tricky one to answer because I really enjoy being here. There's so much that I really like. But one thing that I do love, particularly because I'm a photographer, is how easy it is to photograph people here. When I first started with a camera when I was young, when I was still a teenager, I was so shy and so introverted that I couldn't photograph people. It was so challenging, it was so difficult, and I just chose not to. Eventually, after a few years, I did get a job working in a newspaper and discovered pretty quickly that if I wanted to keep this job, I was gonna to have to get over my fear of connecting with strangers and that I was actually going to have to photograph them. So that was a great learning curve. And after doing it for many years, I discovered that I really loved taking photos of people. And then coming to live in Chiang Mai, I discovered how wonderful it was to be here because the people are so relaxed and so open to being photographed. Well, a lot of the people are most of the time. There's always some that aren't going to like it, but that's a matter of being able to pick those ones and choosing not to photograph them. But generally I find people are very relaxed about it. And this has become even more common now because everybody's taking photos of everyone else with their cell phones. But I found here that the people are generally pretty chill, they're pretty relaxed, they're sabai sabai as they say in Thai. So having their photograph taken is not usually a problem. And I don't tend to put a long lens on a camera and take photos from a distance. I'll have a fairly wide lens on. My 35 millimeter lens is my favorite. And this is how I choose to do particularly my street portraiture and my environmental portraits. So I'll get in close to people. I'll be close enough to have a nice conversation with them and take their photo from the same distance. And having that nice conversation is so key and it's so easy. Sometimes even without speaking any Thai, just communicating with your camera. My camera is my bridge to connect with people and it's fabulous to be able to take some pictures and show people to the back of the camera and let them see themselves and be quick to turn that camera around and take some more pictures to capture the smile, to capture the atmosphere. But I find that, yeah, people by and large here in the north of Thailand are very relaxed and very open to having their photographs taken. I learned when I first came here that the practice of haggling in the market, particularly in the touristy type markets, is quite common. But what's most important is to do it with a smile on your face and do it not to get the cheapest price, but to have a nice conversation with the person that you're buying off. And if you do have a nice conversation, you are most likely to get a better price. And I've found the same goes for taking people's photos. If you have a nice conversation with them, you're more likely to get a great picture. And so this is how I often take photos, is that I'll engage with somebody. I've heard so many people say, as I'm teaching them to photograph people and teaching them to do street photography, that, oh, I don't want to impose on people. I'd rather put a long lens on and stand back and take candid photos. And I don't really appreciate that approach. I don't like that approach most of the time. Some of the time it's necessary, but a lot of the time you're going to get a much more interesting, connected portrait of somebody if you're closer to them and if you've engaged with them. And so this is what I do and this is what I encourage others to do as well, is to be bold, be brave, put a smile on your face first, relax and show an interest in the person that you're photographing. Because if you're doing this, you're not going to impose on them. You might just make their day. You might just make this little bit of a conversation, this little bit of a transaction, the most interesting thing that's happened to them all day. You really never know how much you might bless somebody by approaching them and asking them if you can take their photo. You might be the only person that's showed an interest in them all day. You just don't know it until you do it. And as you do, if you practice it, and certainly as I practiced it, I found that it was such a pleasant experience to be able to connect with people and to learn about them and to share a little bit about myself with them and just yeah, enjoy the whole process. It's not just a matter of going and grabbing a quick picture. 
but it's a, a connecting with them and I find the more I connect with people the better photos that I'll get the more interesting photos that I'll get of people and sure you've got to choose the right people you've got to pick people that look like they're going to want to be photographed people who are talking to others around them people who are interacting freely rather than somebody that's sitting there reading their, looking at their phone or reading a newspaper or something like that they're generally not going to be so interested but if somebody's outgoing if somebody's paying attention to what's happening around them just by approaching them and having a little bit of a conversation you can get a feel for whether or not they're going to want to be photographed and so picking and choosing is an important thing it's something that's taken me a while to get used to doing but but the more I've practiced the better I've become at it and if somebody does say no they're not interested in being photographed I will politely acknowledge that maybe continue the conversation or not but just go with the flow and go with the feeling because there's always somebody else that isn't going to mind being photographed and when I do get good pictures of people if I know that they're going to be in the same place I'll go back to them so market vendors are easy to find again people in their workplace I'll take photos of them if I get good portraits I'll take a print back to them and giving a print to someone these days is such a cool thing to do because hardly anybody ever gets prints done they'll send photos online or via email or on Facebook or something but not get a hard copy print so giving prints to people that I photographed is always a really fun thing to do and I find if I'm wanting to go back to the same location and take more photos this is the best way to build up a relationship with people because if I give a print to somebody people around them are going to know that they've got their photograph and they've got a portrait of themselves and so they're more likely to be open to me photographing them in the future as well and i really do love this about being in northern thailand the whole ease of communication the whole fun of interaction with people around whether you know them or whether they're strangers or not it doesn't really matter the fun thing is just to have a cool interaction a cool bit of communication and to really enjoy it and one dislike I have about living in Thailand is the temperature it's so often so hot here and this makes being a photographer kind of challenging sometimes because I sweat so much my hands get sticky I feel like a wet rag and it's just not good for your camera equipment but I carry a dry cloth with me I'll dry myself off I'll dry my camera gear off I'll pop into a 7-eleven for a cold water and to enjoy the air conditioning for a moment and then carry on with it there's no point in complaining about the weather there's no way I'm going to change it but it's not something that I really love but I'll take it over a cold climate any day and so this is one reason I love living in Chiang Mai and the north of Thailand